バイリンガルウェブマガジン DIG 東京のディレクターを務めるカズーこと G ・カズオペニアです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法へようこそ。DIG 東京は8つのカテゴリーのコラムを日本語と英語で併記しているウェブマガジンです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法は僕がこれまでの翻訳や通訳の仕事を通して培ったさまざまな英語上達についてのノウハウをレッスン形式にまとめたもので、読む、書く、聞く、話すという4つのスキルが身につくと思います。ディグ東京のビジネスやライフスタイルに関するコラムのテキストを用いるのでビジネスですぐに使える英語力や旅行や海外での生活に役立つ英会話力がつきますディグ東京のテキストと YouTube の動画を使ったこのレッスンを繰り返すことで大学受験のための英語力はもちろんのこと TOEIC、TOEFL、英検などの試験のための英語力もどんどんつくことでしょう同じコラムの日本語原稿を読み上げた動画シリーズ Readings for Japanese Study もありますので、興味のある方は動画の下の説明にリンクがあります。では、このレッスンの方法について説明します。まずは、DIG 東京のテキストのページと YouTube の動画をタブや別ウィンドウを使って両方ともすぐ見られる状態にしてください。そうしたら、DIG 東京の日本語のテキストだけをまず先に読んでください。次に、英語のテキストだけを読んでください。英語のテキストでわからない英単語や熟語をネット検索を使って自分で調べてみましょうもちろんわからない日本語があればそれもチェックしてください次に英語のテキストをもう一度読んでみてくださいこれで予習が終了ですここからこの動画によるレッスンを行いますこの YouTube の動画を再生させて英語を聞きながら DIG 東京の英語テキストを目読してください次に英語テキストを見ないでこの YouTube の動画だけを見ながら英語をよく聞いてください最後に YouTube の音声に合わせて英語テキストを音読してください以上のステップを繰り返すことで英語の表現力、読解力、ヒアリング力、スピーキング力が確実に上達するはずです2回目以降のレッスンの際にはこの画面の下にある「もっと見る」を開いてテキストの朗読のところをクリックしてくださいすぐにテキスト本文を読み上げる部分に行けます今回は Language and Ensembles 45 Reflections on my interview with Dean d e b l a Director of How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World 世界発信 SNS 英語術の最新回で放送されたインタビューを振り返りました映画ヒックとドラゴン聖地への冒険の監督 Dean d e b l a です1 The How to Train Your Dragon series returns to Japan. The other day, I got to interview director Dean Dubois for Sekai Hashin SNS Ego Jutsu on NHK e t e l e Dubois was in Japan to promote the third installment of the How to Train Your Dragon series How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World. Footnote Dean Dubois is a Canadian movie director, producer, screenwriter, and animator. After working for animation studios in Canada and Ireland, he began working for Walt Disney Animation Studios in 1994. In 2008, he moved to DreamWorks Animation. Set in the Viking village of Burke on a fictional remote island to the north, the How to Train Your Dragon series centers on Hiccup, the young son of the village chieftain. Their island is frequently attacked by dragons, but the scrawny Hiccup is deemed too weak to fight. Instead, he fosters his talent for creating mechanical devices and works as an apprentice under the village blacksmith. Hoping to earn the respect of his fellow Vikings, he uses a bolas he developed to shoot down a night fury, considered the most dangerous and rare dragon in the sky. But when Hiccup finds the downed and injured dragon in the forest, he is unable to bring himself to kill it. He befriends the dragon and names it Toothless and gradually resolves to change the minds of his clansmen. This series is about how the bond between Hiccup and Toothless inspires him to change the minds of his fellow Vikings and teach them how to live in harmony with the dragons. In the process, he gradually comes into his own as a leader in his own right. Side note Toothless is given the name Tooth in the Japanese version. The sequel, How to Train Your Dragon 2, did not have a Japanese theatrical release. When the first How to Train Your Dragon had its US release in March 2010, It became a massive hit both in terms of box office and critical reception. In Japan, however, the film was released in the dog days of summer after films like Disney's Toy Story 3 and Studio Ghibli's The Secret World of Ariety 
had captured the movie-going public's attention. Its box office receipts were mediocre at best. In response, hardcore Japanese fans mounted a campaign on the petition site Change.org to get the film a theatrical release in Japan. Dubois himself signed the petition and posted about his support for the campaign. Ultimately, it was not meant to be, and the film got a straight-to-DVD release, what the Japanese call DVD Suru, or DVD Through. The total number of signatures on the petition is 7,108. Foreign-made computer animation films that are not under the Disney-slash-Pixar banner have had a difficult time of breaking the Japanese market. So the theatrical release of How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, is a much-awaited return for many Japanese fans. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World Hiccup and his friends have been saving captured dragons and bringing them back to the island of Berk, and as a result, the Viking village has become considerably overpopulated. Remembering that his father used to speak of a long-lost dragon haven, Hiccup and Toothless lead the villagers in search of a new home for all of them. 2. Director Dean Dubois' hero, Miyazaki Hayao Dubois, who was born in Canada, grew up watching and being inspired by Japanese animation films, namely the work of Miyazaki Hayao. When I asked Dubois what he hoped Japanese audiences took away from the film, he replied, So much of my own sensibility is influenced heavily by a Miyazaki-san. So I hope that they see some of the wonder and the world creation and the relatable characters that have inspired me to now translate it into our world. Footnote. Miyazaki Hayao is a Japanese filmmaker, animator, and manga artist. He aspired to become a manga artist as a child, but decided to get into animation while attending Gakushuin University. He started his career working in animated TV series such as Lupin III and Heidi, Girl of the Alps, and made his film directorial debut in 1979 with The Castle of Cagliostro. He co-founded Studio Ghibli in 1985 and went on to achieve worldwide fame as a masterful storyteller. Dubois explained that his favorite Studio Ghibli film is My Neighbor Totoro, and that his own breakthrough film, Lilo and Stitch, was strongly influenced by the believable human relationships depicted by Miyazaki. Specifically, the sisterly bond between Lilo and Nani in Lilo and Stitch has echoes of the relationship between Satsuki and Mei in My Neighbor Totoro. The more obvious parallel, of course, is the arrival of a mysterious creature that gives the movie a fantastical feel. Footnote. Lilo and Stitch. This film is centered on a young Hawaiian girl named Lilo, who was raised by her older sister Nani after their parents died in a car accident. As Lilo has been ostracized by her classmates, Nani decides to let her adopt a dog. However, the dog she chooses, who Lilo names Stitch, turns out to be a mischievous genetically engineered alien. Footnote. My neighbor Totoro. Two young sisters, Satsuki and Mei, move with their father into an old rural house to be closer to the hospital where the girl's mother is recovering from a long-term illness. One day, May discovers two small spirits that lead her into the forest, where she comes across a large forest spirit called Totoro that only children can see. Totoro is Miyazaki's most popular character and is part of the Studio Ghibli logo. In addition to the believable characters and fantasy elements, the How to Train Your Dragon series shares some of the same love of flying that permeates the bulk of Studio Ghibli films. A sense of speed and excitement in the scenes where Hiccup rides Toothless echoes works like Naushka of the Valley of the Wind, Laputa, Castle in the Sky, and Porco Rosso. And in one of the key scenes of Spirited Away, the protagonist, Chihiro, even rides a white dragon. Footnote. Naushka of the Valley of the Wind. This is a 1984 film adaptation of a manga series written and illustrated by Miyazaki Hayao for the anime magazine Animage published by Tokuma Shoten. In 2019, the story was adapted for the Kabuki stage. Footnote. Laputa, Castle in the Sky. This is the first film produced by Studio Ghibli. It depicts a young orphan girl named Shita and a young orphan boy named Pazu, and their quest to discover a mysterious floating island while being pursued by government agents. 
The film is considered a milestone in the steampunk genre, which is a retrofuturistic subgenre of sci-fi that combines technological and aesthetic designs inspired by 19th century industrial steam-powered machinery. Footnote. Porco Rosso. Set in Italy during the Great Depression of the 1920s, this film depicts the adventures of a World War I ex-fighter ace turned freelance bounty hunter whose face has been transformed into that of a pig. Originally intended to be an in-flight short film for Japan Airlines, it was eventually decided the film would be a feature-length release. At the time, it became the highest-grossing theatrical anime feature in Japan's history. Footnote. Spirited Away. This fantasy film centers on 10-year-old Chihiro, who enters the world of kami, deities, of Japanese Shinto folklore. The film won a 2016 poll conducted by Studio Ghibli to decide the studio's most popular work, and remains the highest grossing Japanese movie of all time. It won an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. Finally, the How to Train Your Dragon series also tackles many of the same themes that are depicted in Miyazaki's films, namely human folly. The Vikings are obsessed with subjugating nature instead of living in harmony with it, and cannot see dragons as anything other than their enemy. The way the film depicts the wonder of nature and our relationship with it feels to me distinctly Canadian, and is what sets Dubois' work apart from other popular computer-animated works. 3. Star Wars Influences in the How to Train Your Dragon Trilogy while I didn't get the chance to get into the topic in my interview, Dubois has spoken in the past that the story structure of the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy is influenced by the original Star Wars trilogy, directed by George Lucas in the 70s and 80s. In both series, a new hope rises in the first film, while the second film is characterized by a darker tone and numerous twists and revelations. And in the third film, the hero faces his greatest test. There are also similarities between the heroes of How to Train Your Dragon in Star Wars. At the beginning of A New Hope, Luke Skywalker is a humble farm boy, a far cry from the hero and warrior that he will eventually become. He sets off on an adventure to rescue Princess Leia, an imperial senator and one of the leaders of a rebel movement against the Galactic Empire. However, Leia is no damsel in distress and is thoroughly unimpressed by Luke upon their first meeting. Hiccup has a certain farm boy Luke-like vibe to him, not to mention the fact that he is often saved and encouraged by the much tougher Viking warrior and his crush, Astrid. Footnote. Star Wars, Episode 4, A New Hope. This is the first film made in George Lucas's space opera series, Star Wars. Legend has it that Lucas was inspired by Kurosawa Akira's film, The Hidden Fortress. In the sequel, The Empire Strikes Back, there is an iconic scene where Luke realizes that Darth Vader, the enemy that he believed had killed his father, is his father. Meanwhile, in the second installment in the How to Train Your Dragon series, there is a shocking moment when Hiccup's father sacrifices himself to save his son from a dragon. Footnote. Star Wars, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. The second film of the original Star Wars trilogy is widely considered the high point of the series, as well as one of the greatest films of all time. The poster illustration for the international version was designed by Japanese illustrator Orai Noriyoshi. The similarities don't end there. Luke loses his hand in a climactic duel. Hiccup loses his leg at the end of a massive battle. The revelation of Hiccup's loss is a shocking moment that feels like it breaks the rules of how a children's animated film is supposed to end. 4. Movies for the adult in every child As I've covered in this article, the How to Train Your Dragon series is an animated film for children that also features a lot of grown-up themes and story beats. From my interview, I gleaned that this can be attributed to both Dubois' sensibilities as well as DreamWorks Animation's approach to storytelling. Footnote. DreamWorks Animation is an American animation studio. In 1994, filmmaker Steven Spielberg, record company founder David Geffen, and former Disney executive Jeffrey Katzenberg founded DreamWorks SKG. DreamWorks Animation was spun off into its own company in 2004 and is best known for films like the Shrek and Madagascar series. Footnote. David Geffen is an American business magnate and producer known for co-creating Asylum Records and Geffen Records. 
When I asked Dubois about DreamWorks Animation, he explained the studio's philosophy as follows. Disney makes movies for the child and every adult. The DreamWorks philosophy was, they want to make movies for the adult and every child. The How to Train Your Dragon series contains many loving homages to Miyazaki's work, as well as the Star Wars series, and this sentiment might just be the grand idea that connects all of these films. The greatest lesson Dubois learned from his influences is that children's films should not treat children as children. 5. My wardrobe for this interview. Brown Necktie by Luigi Borelli. Big Brother lent me this Luigi Borelli vintage necktie, which is adorned with yellow dots with a blue flower design inside of them. Cocky Colored Suit by Global Style. Yellow Contrast Collar Shirt by Azabu Taylor. Beige Socks by Tabio. Poe Double Monk Strap Shoes by Paraboot. M27 by Four Nines. Ijo, Language and Ensembles 44. Reflections on my interview with Dean de Blois, director of How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. の英語テキストを朗読しました。いかがでしたか？この YouTube や SNS のコメント欄にご記入ください。